On the Move is presented by Geico. Moves already being made. We saw this earlier this week. Lucas Giolito out west. Same with Ronaldo Lopez for Kai Bush and Edgar Cuero. Ron, you saw Lucas Giolito pitch against the Mets, and that was perhaps the, the, the blip in an otherwise awesome couple of months for him. He's evolved over the years. How has he? What do you see when you watch him pitch? You know, ever since, uh, ever since June, he's been one of the best starters yeah. in the game. It's just that that game at City Field was not his best. It's happened. But he's had moments like that. One of the reasons I'm so um, – I love talking about Lucas Gilito because he, he started his career. He got his teeth kicked in. Yeah. Reinvented I mean, himself, shortened the arm action, then went back. He's done a couple of things. Think about this. In his, that one year, he gave up 123 runs. Jacob DeGrom won the Cy Young Award that year, gave up 41 runs in more innings. That tells you the distance he yeah. had to go to travel to make himself an elite starter. And he's done that. And I think he's done it in a transcendent way. If, when you, but if you want to speak the truth, I was told as a kid, you can never get outs on high changeups. Well, he does. <laughs> yeah, he does. He does. And he changes speeds on his changeup. And he became a two-pitch pitcher that was really tough to deal with because both pitches were excellent. But as time has gone on, and remember this no-hitter, uh, the great Jason Benetti, who does the games for the White Sox. You ever listen to him? He does. Boy, it. he's oh, good. They're great. And I'm going to paraphrase. He said, you know, in a, a really difficult, isolated time, he had a come-together moment with that no-hitter against the Pittsburgh Pirates. And he took off from there. He's a guy that's won in double figures four times. Um, that fastball changeup mix was good enough. But he had to start to tinker. And why did he have to tinker? Because he was not having as much success as he did before. Being a two-pitch pitcher as a starter is almost impossible. Because at some point, even the hitters that aren't great are going to kind of figure it out and be right 50% of the time. This is the start at City Field. Alvarez got him a couple times. The baby Mets, Beatty got him, got him as well. Um, but after that start and before it, what he's done in 2023 is he's added a slider with that changeup and fastball. He's gone from, at one point, throwing that pitch slider 14% of the time. He's throwing it about 30% of the time now. So he's doubled up on that, and that's changed the whole boat for him. Now, that three-pitch mix, the ability to throw a slider, not only to put hitters away, but also to get ahead, throw it in a count where you're 2-1-3-1 to get the guy off the fastball or change, has changed where he's going to go. And I think he's going to be a great mix. The other thing, he does not miss a start. He makes every start. He's a that, workhorse. That, that's probably the biggest thing. That's the most important thing, I think, for the Angels who need innings pitched from their starters. It'll be a good addition to go along with Ronaldo Lopez, who is throwing 98 miles an hour now. See, since the start of June, those are his numbers. Um, that started <laughs> City Field, of course, not his best. But those other eight show you where he's at right now in his career as he goes over to Los Angeles. And it's, he's the perfect example of, you know, I talk about Joey Bart and the A block. Yeah, yeah, like Why that. you don't give up on these high first rounders. He was... He was coming off Tommy John and still got picked in the top 15 right. picks. Right. You don't give up on something like this. I know that they brought Adam Eaton in the Washington Nationals at the deadline and had to move up. But at some point, you could tell in his eyes, he, he was relentless in trying to figure this out. He reinvented himself to figure this out. Yeah. And, too and, much talent. And I th Too much talent. And I think it's a good thing. He's going somewhat home, right? Yeah. He's from the Los Angeles area. He'll be just, you know, 40 miles south. It'll be a good thing for him and for the Angels.